happening today. The city of Charleston is one step closer to improving flooding in West Ashley. City Council members are approving a grant from the Department of Health and Environmental Control to help with a major project. News News Walker Simmons is joining us live from the Windermere neighborhood in West Ashley. Walker, this project will aid neighborhoods who are impacted by flooding. Good morning, Walker. Riley Octavia, good morning, and that's right. The Windermere neighborhoods in this area have a history of flooding, and this new project is working to solve that. Right now, the main flood drain is towards the Windermere Shopping Center, but with this project, they're hoping to add another one further down the greenway here behind me. Now, I spoke with Mayor John Tecklenburg. He tells me this project is a $9 million project, and today, City Council will receive $2 million from DHEC, which will complete funding for the project. The improved stormwater infrastructure will add an avenue for water to drain in the area behind the St. Andrews School of Math and Science. It will also improve the current drainage system behind the shopping center, making it larger so it can take in more water. Mayor Tecklenburg says there's a lot that goes behind the project to improve drainage, but today's city council meeting is a major milestone. Increasing what we call conveyance, places for water to go, and increasing the places for water to get out to, to the wetland areas. To be able to say we got the money in place to be able to do the project uh, gives a lot of confidence that, that this project's moving forward. It is, and so uh, I think it's a feeling of relief. And according to the mayor, it's going to take a little over a year to finalize the project and begin construction on that new drain. But that city council meeting for funding is that big step, and that'll be happening tonight at 5 p.m. Live in the Wintermere neighborhoods, Walker Simmons, count on two.